Today on the show, strategy plus action equals the power of growth-minded networking. Great coaches and consultants like you have the ability to change people's lives and transform entire organizations. And your impact can often go far beyond the clients you work with. One of the reasons I love working with coaches and consultants is because of that ripple effect. This show is here to highlight your expertise and empower you with resources and new ideas to grow your business. Welcome to Strategy in Action. Christine Burroughs is on the show today, and we're talking growth-minded networking. We're talking about expanding your business as a coach, a consultant, a solopreneur. Some of those key areas that you know we we know we need, right? We know that we just need a bigger network of folks who could refer us, who you know we could send business to potential clients, all of these things, we just need to expand. But it's, it's so tough sometimes to take the action and and know the right way to do it. We dig into that a lot today and and really approaching networking in this growth minded way. And I, I, I love Christine's insights on this, but then it's also an aspect of where do I do this? There's so many choices and options out on LinkedIn specifically, much less the, the world, right? Um, and knowing where to go and being very purposeful and efficient with our time when it comes to networking. Christine's a, a major part of an organization called Powered by Purple Inc. And they are an ecosystem to really accomplish all of those things, to network with like-minded folks, to do it in a way that we talk about on this show, very purposeful, very growth-minded, um, but also get potential business, also have people that you can refer out, additional resources that you can offer your clients, all of these things bundled together in this amazing community. So many great topics in this episode. Let's jump in. Christine Burroughs, welcome to the show. Hello, hello. Oh, so glad to, to have you on here. We we actually met through, I guess, Carla Cherry, uh, like her group that she had going on a couple of weeks ago. Um and it was perfect. You had a nice connection there on LinkedIn afterwards. Um, I think both of our, one of our favorite places online <laughs> for doing all of this, meeting, meeting amazing folks. And, you know, I really wanted to, to, to have you on the show to really help our, our audience, coaches, consultants, solopreneurs with growing their business, right? And that that's a big, broad, giant term, but I think it's it's missed a lot of times in terms of it's great. You know, I've got you know, I've got a few clients. How do I really purposefully grow this thing? And you had a great point, you know, with the the title of the show, Strategy in Action. You know, you've got to have that right strategy. And but then what are those daily actions that are that are gonna get you there? Give us a little little background on on your world right now, your expertise and how you're helping folks in general. And I really want to dig in on some of these topics, right? On the networking side of things, the getting clients side of things and all of that. Sure. Thank you. It is kind of funny how we met over in Carlos space, which um, I just was like, how did you end up in my little breakout room? But it's fun that we did. And we got to take the conversation to the next level. Um, So I run a national network of workforce consultants called Powered by Purple Link, uh, PBPI, if you will. And we are comprised of solopreneurs in the workforce consulting space. So consider that coaches, trainers, HR consultants, keynote speakers, anybody who's called into um, into a business to solve a workforce problem. And our job in bringing this community of people together is to help them purposefully use that word, grow their businesses uh, using a strategy that's not a billboard, but it's a belief that others can help us grow our businesses intentionally, that who you see as a client might be different than who I see. And therefore we might be able to help one another either in collaborative ways or partnership or through referability. And, um, That's what I do. I am in charge of the strategic end of that, as well as the marketing part of that. And then my business partner, just to kind of make sure everyone understands where the name of the business came from, because it's a long mouthful, powered by Purple Link. The the parent company is Purple Link, 
which is a um, HR consulting firm in central Indiana led by Jody Curtis and uh, Purple Link. I would be remiss if I didn't at least say what they do. They do primarily recruiting, uh, training and outsourced HR. And Jody is really the um, queen of the empire, if you will. She started Purple Link 12 years ago, and then just last year, and after just a, a, a very successful run there, invited me to join her to, I, I want to say expose the brand nationally, but really it's more than that. It's really bringing other people in this greater workforce consulting space together so everybody can grow and do that in a method that is meaningful to everybody. And, and, and I really like that that expansion. It's expansion in, in a very different way because, you know, sometimes there's a methodology and come be a certified coach under my methodology and things like that. And there's, you know, there's value in this. I, I love this sort of, this building next to, it's like the best of both worlds because you're building on that existing brand and reach and expertise but it's still come be a part of this world, bring you, bring your methodology and how you help people to this, this, this whole group that is, man, I, I, I love it. I'm going to let you explain the, the, the three stools that it helps. Cause it, I want to have this background for folks in this geography because it's, it really, it's a great jumping off point for us because there's, it's one thing to have, you know, a place to network with your fellow folks and, you know, have businesses help you. And then, you know, you help businesses even, even wider than that. Um, but then a lot of what we're going to get into today is, okay, but how do you do that? Well, how do you do that <laughs> intentionally? How do you not do that? <laughs> Especially on the networking side of things. So describe that, that three-legged stool, if you will, of, of that, that, that marketplace side. Yeah. Let me start with something you just said, which is um, I, you, I, the intimation was that maybe there's a, um, a franchising or some sort of replication of what Jody and Purple Link does. And it's distinctly not that, which you, you said. It's not a do it like I do it. It's do it like you do it, but let's all join forces and learn and grow together. You know, rising tides lift all boats. That's our mantra. And, and yet, um, we are different. We are all collectively in the same space. So unlike BNI, where you might have a doctor, a lawyer, an accountant, and a plumber, we are all in this workforce space, um, but we all have a slight variation on what we do. So when I say the three-legged stool of our network, it's comprised these solopreneurs who have their businesses um, as coaches, trainers, or consultants. They probably have speaking gigs, some of them. And they, they have a, a strong sense of their own ideal clients. They have a strong sense of their own um, methodology and approach. And they, they aren't newbies. They aren't people who are just looking to kind of hitch their wagon to somebody else's success. They are people who are successful in their own right and have a growth strategy that they believe networking with others will help them fulfill. And so the way they do that is they um, join us. They, they do pay a fee to join us. And then they join our network and they get um, opportunities to network with each other, opportunities to be trained with and among each other. And then they get the exposure of the full brand uh, as a marketplace of talent in this space so that businesses who are in need of a workforce consultant to solve a problem, let's say it's a retention issue, or let's say it's a um, diversity training issue or something like that, they come to our network and they can either search our directory or talk to me and say, hey, I've got this problem. Who do you recommend in this space? And I might say, you know, I don't know exactly what your problem is, but I can tell you these five people give you backgrounds on them and tell you why they might be a, a solution to your problem. And then you can reach out to so that's the heart and soul of our network is comprised of these very talented coaches, trainers, consultants doing their own thing. They're not doing it the Purple Link or Jody Curtis way. They're doing it the, you know, Jason Croft way, if you will. And then they and they have their own brand, but then collectively they are part of the PBPI brand. And then the second leg of that stool are these corporate partners that are businesses that are interested in being a part of our network also because they have goods and services that our network might benefit from, whether it's website development or podcast strategies or um, 
any kind of marketing or swag, things that our consultants might actually benefit from. And then also that our consultants might be a voice for them with their clients. So uh, um, Paylocity or Cloverleaf or um, Rapirio, these are all corporate partners of ours that aren't necessarily looking for our consultants to buy their goods and services, but would appreciate it if our consultants, when becoming trusted advice in the workplace, are asked for a referral. They say, hey, I got, I, I'm friends with Jason. I'm friends with Mike. Mike represents Paylocity. You should meet him. And then, of course, that third leg is those businesses that are looking to us to be partners to them in solving their problems. They're looking to hire our consultants or they're looking to find our consultants as a, a key to solve some of their internal problems. That's so strong. I, I, I love that because it's, you know, you can, and you can win in any of those three areas, right. As you know, being, a, being a part of, of this, of the, the powered by purple ink, you know, ecosystem, <laughs> if you will, you know, uh, I think that's, that's so strong. And, and so that brings me, you know, to kind of one of our first main topics, which is um, really this idea of, I, I think a question that would come up on the, the networking side, why, why join a group of a bunch of me's, you know, <laughs> if, yeah. I mean, this sounds like an amazing group to me, but, um, for somebody who's not egotistical like me, um, how do we, <laughs> <laughs> how do we convey to them? Like, here's why you network with folks who are doing similar things, different, different areas and all of that. First of all, I want to jump on that word ecosystem. I like that. And we were like, are we an organization? Are we a community? And we use the word now because we like the visual of they told two friends, they told two friends, like that whole idea of expanding a network. But I like the ecosystem because that is a big piece of it. You're joining a, um, you know, ecosystem to me means that they're all living, you know, under a same umbrella of some sort. And while I'm talking about the uniqueness of each of our consultants, we are exposing that ecosystem to the greater community of, of buyers, clients who need them. And I'm just going to say, like, it's not for everybody. And, I, and I'm not just saying that as a, um, a leader of this organization. I talk to people where I literally say, you don't belong in our network. <laughs> and I say that, like, in a loving way that it's not for them. Uh, it is for those people who are growth minded and and also have an investment in otherness. Like you can't be sort of growth minded where you're putting up your billboard on the side of the, the highway and saying, call me because that's a different market. We are growth minded in a give and take way. So I learn deeply about what you do so that I can know that. I can have it as an arsenal in my own you know, back pocket. I trust you. I can there refer, therefore refer you. Or actually in the most magical ways, we can partner together. And to me, that's really where it becomes beautiful is that you meet others in the network that you see are so talented and so gifted in either the same way that you are to coaches who say, holy moly, imagine what our you know, client opportunity could look like or what kind of service engagement we could create like the magic there because a lot of coaches who work so siloed are really craving camaraderie so to me that's a beautiful opportunity or it's that compliment so uh, you know a lead that's a an organizational development consultant is pulling together this incredible offering that has you know 10 different elements to it and she's the facilitator or she's the she's she sold the engagement. She's the lead on it. She facilitates six out of 10 of those, but four of them are specialty areas like employment law or um, recruiting, you know, that she wants to bring into it because she's not an expert in those areas. And she wants to help those leaders, you know, develop in that space. So there's just an incredible opportunity to be bigger than you are and have, have a bench, if you will, at your disposal. Oh yeah, that that ex, that instant expansion, right? Like that's either I need to solve a problem, let me go to this this group for help, 
but that specificity that you just described, oh, I've got a client wanting this, that may make the difference between getting that contract or not. Because if you don't have those other four people, well, we need to go with with someone who does. We love you. We want to sign today, but you know, that may be the difference, you know, of a million dollar a year to somebody, you know? Um, well, and you know, I, what about your credibility in that space? I'm sorry, that, yeah. you know, your credibility becomes magnified when you can say, you know, I'm going to do this piece of it. And I'm not even going to pretend to be this piece, but I've got this piece as a, as a partner now. Yeah. And, and that's, and that's the power of, of, of two things. One is not just any networking group or something, but this one where you already know that if somebody's in the group, there's some level of vetting that's happening. There's some, they've had a conversation, <laughs> you know, they, they've come across and they've, they've made it through that first cut, if nothing else. So there's, that's a different aspect, but also it gets back to why you purposefully network in the first place, no matter where you're doing it. And that is constantly growing that network. So you have those kind of resources, right? So you know something about these people you you jump on and have a, you know, a Zoom session with or whatever it may be, keeping track of that in the CRM, you're doing these things. So you have all of those things at your disposal because it's it's a beautiful thing, right? Like you can love it like I do. I mean, I love just jumping on, hey, what's going on meeting new people like that for whatever crazy reason that just lights me up, right? That's a human thing I like. But then there's a business strategy reason. So whether you like it or not, you need to get purposeful with it. Here's well, here's who I'm going to meet and why. Sometimes I don't know why, but now let's let's have them in the system so that, oh, I just met so-and-so. You need to meet them. Or it's that business deal that you talked about. That's 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 really powerful. And I know, I know you've had, you know, some experience in people kind of being freaked out at, at that, right. At, at, at the coming in and I guess more with, with more of a competition mindset, how do we help them around that, that mindset, you know, to even let some of this in? Yeah. Um, boy, a couple of things you said really, uh, sparked a, a chord with me. Um, you know, I think you and I have that natural disposition to meeting others and like, we're open to it. I mean, I use the word calling. Like I literally believe that when I wake up, what a joy it is to meet someone new. And yet I bet we've both met someone new and thought this could be the only time I ever meet him or her. And I'll be okay with that. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not trying to dump on people, but the more people we meet, the more discerning we have to be, but it doesn't mean that we shouldn't come to each meeting with an open mind and open heart. And so I believe that that's kind of my job is to teach the people in my own network how to network meaningfully and purposefully. And so sometimes I'll, you know, pull in this caricature of a person I networked with before. And it might look something like getting on a call and, you know, Susie is on the other end of the call and we're meeting each other for the first time. And we do our, you know, talk about the weather thing. And then we jump in and I say, you know, tell me about your work. Tell me what you do and, or something. Maybe I've read their bio and I have something and I've opened up, a, you know, an opportunity for them to speak. And 20 minutes into our 30 minute call, Susie hasn't, hasn't engaged me yet. Now, there's a couple ways for me to think about that. One is either Susie's like magnificently interesting or Susie doesn't know how to reciprocate a learning and networking opportunity. So, I mean, that's kind of like a, that's a bad caricature because few people are that, you know, unaware. But really, I, I think about um, this friend of mine I met. Vern Schellenberger, who I met through LinkedIn. And I do love LinkedIn as a way, if you're good at it, it's really a good way to meet a lot of interesting people. So Vern's um, a networking um, scientist, if you will. He's written, he has a, a business called Contacts Count, and it's a learning system as well as a book. But he talks literally about the science of networking. So he, I, I got exposed to Vern at the same time 
that I started writing the book that I'm publishing along with Jody called Joy Powered Networking. And we started thinking deeply about what, what makes good networking, what makes bad networking. And I would like our organization, and I believe it is our network, to be a model for the very best networking, which is, um, let, let's be honest, everybody who networks has an intention that they want from it. And they want an intention of, you know, potentially, likely business growth for themselves. But if you lead with that at all occasions, you really are going to come up short most of the time because most people can sense that. So really great networking to me has to almost lead with other focus. Like, what can I do for you today? And then maybe down the road, we might be able to do for each other. So it's a learning, it's a giving, it's an opportunity. And then once you've done all that, maybe there's some other room for like you to you know, do something for me. And if not, that's okay. Cause there's 10 other people who might. So in, in our network, because we're not just one-on-one, -on -one, we are 75 on 74 and we're all in this together. There's just opportunities just like magnifying themselves at all costs. And um, it's downright magical. I love that. I love that. And, and, and that's, that's the thing. It's, it's that balance, but people get so, I think when they're, when they're in that binary looking at it, like this is either going to benefit me or not, you're doing it in the short term. Yes. I'm going to, I'm going to be purposeful about networking this week with, you know, 12 people, whatever that is. And of course that should be, at some level lead to ROI. Like why else are you doing this? If you're not just hanging out, making friends, right? Like if you're running a business, it should do that, but it's the lens, the intention and the long or short-term thinking that you're going into that with the, to be exactly what you're talking about here. It's like, okay, I don't, I'm not, I'm not trying to make a sale today. <laughs> I'm trying to grow this network because three of these folks you know, maybe the perfect thing that the people I meet next week need. And because I make those introductions, you, you know, I get the business, whatever that is, or it's something six months from now. And then every now and then it is, a, a, you know, a done deal in one call, you know, but it is, it's that, it's that intention going into it. And I'm always looking for, I guess, I, I guess ways to, to do it in environments to do it where the, the other person's guard is down, right? Like, because I think so many of us don't believe the other person just is open to networking, good at networking, you know? So it's, I'm always sort of like, I know you don't believe this, but <laughs> trust me, <laughs> really just want to jump on a call, you know? Um, and so finding those folks are, are, you know, but again, the environment is, key as well what if we literally said to each other hey i'm just growing my rolodex like what if we laid that out as the first thing like i don't know if there's any you know, synergies opportunities whatever words you want to use but i just want to know one more person and i want to know them in a way that i, I want to no that's not that's not true I don't want to know one more person. I want to know one more good person. I want to know somebody who has a, a good business model that I trust instinctively that I would be willing to refer. Now, the truth is that we know a lot of people. And, and so we, we may have a hierarchy to referring people and networking. And, and that's okay too. Like, you know, I'm going to refer my best friend before I'm going to refer you. That's just a true story. I know her longer than I've known you, but you know, through action and, and tr building of trust, those things shift, right? Your, your Rolodex rolls on purpose. Yeah. And, and that's the thing, you know, when you, when you talk about, you know, discernment, I, I, I love this. This was a key, you know, distinction for me, you know, even recently, the last couple of months of getting out you know, getting away from judgment, right? Like I would never run my business that way. It, something's working there. Number one, what can I learn? Right? Like you mentioned the people like, we're not going to have a second call, but <laughs> you know, but because people fascinate me, I, I, I still, I dig in. I'm like, 
oh, wow, you know, I don't agree with this, this, and this, but boy, they're doing this piece right. What can I, what can I take away from that? But, but then it's also, it is discernment. You know, it's not judgment, that person's horrible because of this, but they go into a category, right? You know, for me, for my business, you know, like we won't have a second call, but, you know, I won't refer them, but they're an awesome person or, you know, because I just don't like their work, you know? And, you know, we that's just part of this whole thing. And I think it gets, I mean, it is a human thing and, and we all want to be human and <laughs> cordial and nice, you know, we hopefully, um, in all of this thing, but part of this, I don't know. I think there's, there's so much, so many hangups and built in things when it comes to networking on all sides of this, like at different levels, people freak out, right? Somebody's going to take my business or that person's just trying to sell me something, or I can't be human and just connect And then also mention what I do because that would be horrible if I talk sales or if I talk my bit, you know, and I, and I think that's, that's an area that you and I (laughs) connect well on. It's just like, why has it got to be so weird? Why can't we have this? Like, here's two people who have businesses and are going to talk about their business and maybe also the weather. Like, cool. You know? Well, I think you hit the nail on the head. I, I have an expectation when I meet someone that at some point he or she is going to demonstrate to me their expertise. If we get to the end of a call and I have no idea what you did, well, that's also pretty bad. Like that's really nice of you to get, let me share what I do. But to me, it hasn't been fruitful. I want to know what you do. And back to that whole, like, you know, there's room for everybody. Now, we all will have personal preferences. We will all elevate people subconsciously and consciously to referability. Um, And that's just, you might refer someone differently than I do. I just think it's uh, it's a joy and an honor to actually know those people out there who have worked hard to be experts and to be able to share their expertise in a, I dare say, succinct way, (laughs) you know, enough that I can, and also with that thought leadership, I mean, I just, I'm going to give you another plug for what we do is my job is to magnify that expertise. So once I've learned deeply what you do, I have the, the cool job of, of being your billboard. So now you don't have to billboard yourself. I get to get out there and, you know, share your thought leadership, create engaged conversations on LinkedIn or with businesses. And um, to me, that's the, don't we all want a partner like that? Somebody who's going to take what you do and, and connect it to others. Oh yeah. Big time. And that's what I was, I was going to ask too, because it is such an important part of, of this topic of growing your business is, you know, those key elements of knowing exactly who you serve, you know, and and what you, you do uniquely for them, getting that message (laughs) packaged up succinctly, like you mentioned, uh, are those things that, that you, it sounds like you kind of help with the organization helps with a little bit. Is there, what, what kind of process is that? That's where my partners come into play, Jason. It's like the people who, so we have partners in our space who are marketing experts or sales experts who can, you know, engage with one of our consultants to help them be better at articulating themselves or branding themselves or whatever. Now, can I help? I do because I have a marketing background. Like if someone came to me, I I just was having a conversation this morning with one of our members who, who does a lot of things really well. And how do you, how do you find the opportunity when you do so much coming up with, I mean, there's two things, you you know, when you're working in your business versus working on your business. And we're definitely the on your business part. That doesn't mean that we don't also get better at delivering our services by knowing each other. So we might have a change management consultant who, you know, learns from an HR consultant about how to, you know, solve problems internally in the workforce or how to solve the problems and then communicate the problems internally. So they can learn from each other. Um, But my job is primarily helping our consultants, our coaches, our trainers work on their businesses. So if it is a matter of, messaging, if it is a matter of, um, 
finding opportunities to share those and practice, I can do that for them as well. But we also have partners in the network that are better experts than even I. Hard to imagine, but... <laughs> I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Right. <laughs> well, this, this, this is awesome. I think we've... I think we've we've painted a, a pretty good picture. I want to make sure we have that, that good picture of who, who should, you know, come to you. I mean, what we're talking about principles, strategies we're talking about today, go apply them however you want to yep. apply them and whatever level of business you're, you're, you're in yep. and all of, all of that. But who, what is that, that sort of perfect picture of, of somebody who should reach out to you to potentially be a, be a part of that ecosystem? Thank you. Um, if you are a solopreneur that's a coach, a trainer, or a consultant in the HR space, or you consider yourself a workforce consultant, and you see um, a, a growth plan for yourself that acknowledges this model for marketing and growth, you know, I'd love to have a conversation with you. I'd love to see if we could help you, and you could help others within our network. Again, you have to have a, a bit of a, a networking mindset. You have to have a community mindset, and and maybe even look at our website, www.poweredbypurplelink.com to see our member directory and see if those people are people you would want to be in community with. So I would say those, I, I'd love to talk to you if you if you think this is a, a, an interesting model for you. Obviously, if you're a, um, a business that likes my community and has a good or service that um, you either you would like to um, be a part of our network because you have a service that our consultants could use or you have a service that our consultants' clients could benefit from. I'd love to have a conversation with you. We're great partners. We um, we love to play well with others. So we love to go to events and co-sponsor fun things with our corporate partners, whether they're after parties or whether they're pre-parties. We love to do that and bring people together in real life. Um, and then finally, if you're a business that is looking to solve some of your problems, I have some of the best workforce consultants across the country uh, in 23 different states, everything from executive coaching to HR compliance to, uh, I don't know, state laws about employee benefits, you, you name it, I got it. And I'd, I'd love to um, refer any one of them to you. Beautiful. And to connect with you directly, I imagine hit LinkedIn and LinkedIn's your that. best place. I love LinkedIn. Come find me, ring my bell. I'll ring yours. We'll learn from each other. Um, you can always find, email me directly, Christine at poweredbypurplelink.com. Awesome. Christine, thank you Good so time. much. Thanks so much for tuning in and being a part of this show. If you want help creating authority building video content or even a client generating show of your own, go to Media Leads Co dot com and let's connect. I'll talk to you soon on the next strategy and action.